In this video, we'll be going over the recursive approach of symmetric tree. So given a binary tree, check where there is a mirror of itself, symmetric around its center. So we're giving the tree, this input tree. Initially, we'll compare the children's of one. So we get compare two and two. After comparing two and two, we will want to compare the right subtree to the with the left subtree of the of its neighbor. So we have four and four, which matches. And then we want to compare the right, uh, the left subtree of the right subtree of the neighbor. So we get three and three. So let's first implement the recursive approach. We will be comparing two nodes, which will denote n, p and q. Let's go over all of the cases. If p and q are both known, then it is a valid pair. If only one of the nodes is null, then it is an invalid pair. If, if the values of the nodes are not the same, then it is an invalid pair. If the values of the nodes are the same, then it is a, a valid pair. After comparing the current two nodes, we will want to compare its subtrees. So we will compare p.left with q.right. And we will also compare p.right with q.left. Let's go do a pseudocode. So let's first validate the input parameter. If root is equal to null, then it is a symmetric tree. So we have to return true. Then we'll implement a recursive approach and recursively compare the subtree. And then what parameters do we need? P, the current node one, so it will be initially root.left and Q will be node two, initially root.right. So we initially start off at 2 and 2. Now, what is the base case? If both of the nodes are known, then we can return true. If one of the nodes is known, then we can return false. Then in each of the recursive call, if the node values are not the same, then we can return false, and then we recursively compare the subtree. So we com recursively compare the left subtree of P with the right subtree of Q, and recursively compare the other subtree, which is going to be P P dot right with Q dot left. Return true only if both recursive calls returns true. So they are both valid subtrees or symmetric subtrees. Let's go do the time and, time and space complexity. So the time complexity is going to O of n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. Visit each node once. And our space complexity is going to O of h, where h is the height of the tree. Recursive call stack memory. Let's go do the code. So if root is good to null, then we can return true. And then recursively compare, check if it's symmetric. Both of the nodes are null, then we can return true. If only one of the nodes is null, then we can return false. And then return true only if the current value, the current node value are the same, and 
the subtrees are matching too. P dot left with Q dot right, and compare P dot right with Q dot left. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.